Hey, everybody, welcome back into GoBlueRaiders.tv, and it's senior weekend for Middle Tennessee basketball, and Raiders are getting ready for a practice here as we uh, tape our interview. And Corey Harold, James Washington, Trevor Otley, Rod Emanuel, the four Blue Raiders seniors on this year's uh, ball club. Uh, I, want to, I will start with Corey because he is uh, farthest to my right and uh, your left. Corey from Franklin, Tennessee. And Corey, tell everybody you had a little bit different route to senior day as the other three. Uh, yeah, um, I went to uh, the walk on tryout two years ago and uh, ended up coming on as a manager. And uh, I guess, you know, I worked hard all through the manager and did what Coach Davis asked me to do. And after that season, I asked him if I could be a walk-on. And he said uh, he'd, he'd like that and he'd think I'd be good at it. So that's what I did. You kind of followed in Matt Joins' footsteps, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he was my inspiration for it. Matt Joins was, yeah. Well, well, tell me what it's meant for, for you to be part of this basketball team. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been huge. You know, it was a dream of mine to play uh, Division One basketball. And... You know, a lot of people said I wasn't good enough, so you know it was it was a big deal for me to make the team and be a part of the team with the guys and experience what it's like to be a Division One basketball player. So. Saturday night against Western Kentucky, it's Senior Night. What's it going to be like for you to walk out there and uh, and be part of that? Uh, it's just going to be a great feeling, you know, something I didn't think I was going to get to experience, you know, on the collegiate level, but you know, something that came true for me uh, through hard work, and it's just going to be a it's going to be a great experience for me. BJ, out of St. Louis, Missouri, you, you're part of the, uh, the the other three of you are all junior college transfers. Kind of odd that the senior class, the three scholarship guys, are all two-year players, but it's also kind of made you guys special and have a little special bond, hadn't it? Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I think we all come from junior college. I mean, we uh, had college experience, and we came in well prepared with the college level, you know, um, um, being that, you know, we were older guys, we came in knowing Coach Davis kind of wanted to expect it. We just had to get in the, the groove of the team of MT basketball and just learn the plays, basically. Yeah. And i uh, tell you what's pretty uh, amazing about your career is that uh, you're, you know, if, if you had about six, seven, eight, maybe maybe ten more games, you'd be in the 1,000-point club. Oh, I mean, I – I, I didn't know that, actually, but I give all the credit to my teammates, you know, yeah. finding me, you know, um, like the time I hit the threes, my teammates were finding me. Anytime I had a big-time ball game, you know, whether it was Ryan, Trevor kicking it out to yeah. me or any other guards, you know, they was finding me. So I give all the credit to my teammates and the coaches for putting me in the right position. All right. You two guys, I'm going to check out the roommates over here, but uh, get ready. I need a good story before we leave, okay? All right, all right. You got you got me covered on that. All right, Trevor Otley from uh, Hayes, Kansas. Do you remember the first time we ever met? Uh, no. When was that? When you came knocking on my office door. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. We had a nice talk. If you remember, you came here in July, moved in, and uh, I don't know whether you were bored one day or whether I, I think it to me now that I know you so much better after two years, is that it was all part of your personality. You were just knocking on doors and said, "Hey, uh, I'm going to be playing ball here, and think I need to meet you." Yeah, yeah. I, I knocked on about six or seven doors that day. I think I met the football coach, the AD, and uh, the women's coach. Yeah, I was. Uh, it was that was my first day. I remember that. It was. Uh, we actually had a pretty good talk. We, we did, and we've had several since. Oh yeah, I definitely dropped by. Uh, you got a rubber band ball in there. I always play with, and <laughs> I always come in there and give you a hard time. And your roommate here. I met him. Uh, you came on your recruiting visit, I think. During the high school state tournament, is that right? Yeah, uh, I, I remember when I came on and I met you down. You was doing some talking, and that's when I saw James James Gallman for the first time. He was playing in the state. That's right, he was playing for Fulton, and you, you were there for the championship. All right, I was yeah. I was there to see that. Yeah. Well, talk a little bit about uh, your two years here as you as you uh, close out your career at Middle. What's it been like for you? Uh, it went fast, I tell you that. But uh, I, I learned a lot of cultural experiences as far as, and then I say climbing experience. I come here, coming from Florida, I never seen snow before, and then come up here and I saw snow. I, I was at shock. You can ask Trevor. We went out and had our first snow fight, snowball fight uh, last year, and I only seen things like that on TV. I never been a part of it, so that was pretty fun. And coming from Orlando, a lot of people aren't that friendly. I come up here and everybody's so friendly. You can walk down the street, people will wave at you and talk to you. It's not like that where I'm from, so. I learned a lot. I mentioned that you guys are roommates. Uh, I think one thing about it is your personality has rubbed off on Rod, and Rod's personality has rubbed off on you. And it's been a pretty good pairing, hasn't it, along with Brad Kerr? Uh, well, I mean, I definitely think I bring the most to the uh, to the house. So. Oh, yeah. come on. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm glad I rubbed off on Rod. I think I really helped him out in the long run. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Tell me about the picture. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Step Brothers. It's one of the greatest movies ever. And uh, we decided to get together, you know, if we were going to live together and we are going to be a family. We, we, got our, uh, we went to Goodwill, got some nice sweaters, some turtlenecks, and suit jackets, and we all did a little photo shoot, went to uh, Sears, got our pictures taken. It's a great place. <laughs> And we got them blown into uh, posters on our wall in our apartment. Well, uh, I've done a little reconnaissance, and the folks who are watching this are now seeing that picture. Uh, are you serious? I'm serious. Uh, I, I, I don't mind. He, he's the one that's embarrassed. <laughs> uh, you, you look good. It looks like my three sons, and that's kind of dating me a little bit. Okay, BJ, you, I, I told you, you you're, you're the storyteller. You're, when, whenever I hear noise coming from the back of the bus on a road trip, I always hear you in there somehow. So I know you've got a good story. I got a good story. What kind of story you want to hit, Chip? One that can go on TV. Uh, first of all, <laughs> first of all, I want to go back to when you interviewed Trevor. You said that he rubbed off on Riot. Let me tell you, everybody in MT and MT campus know that if Trevor around, he gonna rub off on anybody. Talk about about these guys uh, because you, you talked about Trevor's personality. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Boogie because everybody on campus knows him. Yeah, I, I agree with that. When I first got here, you know, uh, Boogie, as everybody knows he's well outspoken. You know, saying he's a real good guy. And when I first came here, Trevor Ali was never shy at all. And uh, I think everybody on the team would agree with you. But then again, though, he just he's just fun, outgoing, like to have fun. You know, a great guy to hang around twenty four seven. What about the story? You got a, you got a, something good. Um, I mean, I got I got plenty of stories, man. It's, there's some kind of topic you wanna you wanna. I'm gonna leave it up to you. It's your it's your senior weekend. Um, hmm. So I'm gonna you you've had you've had good relationships with the coaches, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, I mean, I can I can give you one of Coach Casey's stories. Oh, know. please! Oh, there's a oh, there's man. a ton of those. <laughs> I uh. <laughs> you get one of my motivational speeches. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give you one of my motivational speeches for Coach Case. Um, no, I'm, I'm gonna give you a story. You know, he, he tell a story about by a man named Leroy, right? I've heard this story. You heard this story before? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> all right, it's Leroy, right? Is it um, Coach Casey's good friend he grew up with? And, um, you know what I'm saying? He said that the man was real strong. He worked out, ate right, everything. He didn't smoke, didn't drink anything. He said, you know, it could happen to anybody. He said he just walked across the street one day and got hit by a big old Greyhound bus, right? <laughs> at approximately 5 30 p.m. So, <laughs> You know, everybody's like, Coach K, why are you telling this story? And he says the more to the story that no matter who you are, or you say how good you eat, or you're healthy, your healthy habits, whatever, that you can just get that you can die any time of the day, <laughs> anywhere. In. So you know, Coach K's got about a thousand stories that, and I think none of them really have a significance to him. Well, and, and actually, there's a possibility that some of them may actually be true. We're not sure of that though. Hey, that's. I mean, I asked him every day. He swears to God that all of them are true. <laughs> So, um, Corey, you being from Franklin, you grew up around Middle Tennessee and, and, and all that. Tell me about you. Where are you going to be in five years? Five years? Uh, hopefully coaching basketball somewhere at the college level. Uh, my goal is to get on as a graduate assistant somewhere after this year and get my master's degree. And then after that, hopefully I'll be uh, coaching or assistant coaching somewhere at the college level or junior college level somewhere down the road. So. All right, BJ, what about you? Five years, what, what's, what's, what's the story going to be? Shoot, five years from now. I mean, I think only God knows that. But hopefully I'm uh, somewhere playing basketball, you know, making some big-time money. You know, uh, basketball is my love, my first love. That's what I love to do. Remember your brother over here now when that happens. Oh, uh, uh, big chill. Oh, yeah, you know, we grew up, baby. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm somewhere playing basketball. And then, you know, after that I want to pursue also coaching and stuff like that too. All right, good deal. Trevor, what about you? What do you think uh, in five years? Man, that's that's a big question. Everybody keeps asking me that for my family. And, uh, you know, I don't have an answer for you. Um, I'm just kind of – I'm pretty well open to anything. I think I could pretty well – I could see myself ended up anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, just I want to be successful and uh, – you know, make my family proud. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Trevor will not be afraid to knock on some doors and uh, <laughs> to try to get that career uh, going. Rod, what about you? What are your career goals? Uh, my career goals, I'm probably, I'm thinking about going to like a uh, human resources field. But if I say five years from now, I just say the same thing I said last night at a coach's interview. Somewhere I'm going to be sitting on top of the world. <laughs> Good place to be. I tell you, and I will say this, that over the past two years, uh, the one of the most, the two most loyal emailers to me during the ball games are Rod's mom and your family's friend, Carol. Carol got so yeah, she's like a mother to me. She took care of me. I don't know where I'd be without her. She, uh, she, I don't, I don't even know if I'd be enrolled in school if it wasn't for her. 
Well, guys, I'll tell you, it, 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 it's for all you guys, you, you've had a short career, abbreviated, not a four or five year guys, but you're all two year guys. But uh, you've certainly made an impact on the program and, and your guys that uh, I can see 20 years from now, you're going to be coming back here with your kids and your wife and, you know, you're going to be great alums. This, I, I get the feeling that this place is going to mean something to you for a long time. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, I mean, let's not talk about kids yet, you know, yeah. or not. But, uh, <laughs> no, but um, like I said, um, yeah, first of all, I want to thank everybody at MT, uh, what they've done for me. You know, it's been a great experience. I've been for two years, but I feel like it's been for a month. It went by so fast. And, uh, you know, we had great times. You know, we won a championship last year. Hopefully we can go to the NCAA tournament this year. But, like you said, we'll definitely be able to come back here and uh, you know, have significance when people remember us from being here. One final thought out of you about this, uh, about this event? Just uh, this one year went too fast, and I uh, <laughs> wish I could stop time right now. But uh, it was a great experience the whole year, and I wish I could do it again. What about you, Trevor? Uh, I just want to take the uh, Blue Raider family, all the boosters, all the teachers, everybody that put up with me. I, uh, it's been fun. I mean, it's it's kind of went by in a blink of an eye, and you know, it's I've enjoyed every minute of it, and uh, hope we can uh, end it right. Rod, you don't necessarily get the last word in your apartment with your roommate here, but you get the last word today. <laughs> uh, I want to do the same thing. I want to I thank all the coaching staff, thank all the fans from, from Middle Tennessee for embracing us the way they did. And I had a lot of fun here, and it's something that I'll never forget. I lived out my dreams. A lot of people can't say that, and I can honestly say that I lived out my dreams, and it's been fun. All right. Rod Emanuel, Trevor Otley, James Washington, Corey Harold, your Blue Raider basketball seniors for 2011. Thanks for being with us here today on GoBlueRaiders.tv.